cowboy boots too. Or? Yeah. <laughs> Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to thank everyone for coming. And let's let's get started. I have a few things to see uh, First thing I have is uh, the, 19, uh, the 2017 Silver International Aquatic Safety Award. We are pleased to notify you that your lifeguard staff has been awarded our firm's prestigious Silver International Aquatic Safety Award, pursuant to consistently exceeding our criteria for aquatic safety certification this year. While we are sure that the swimmers who frequent your aquatic facilities already recognize the professionalism exhibited by your lifeguard staff, it is important to inform them that only those clients scoring in the top 30% of the audit criteria receive this award. Accordingly, they are consistently being afforded with the highest degree of swimmer protection currently available for the aquatic industry. Please extend our profound congratulations to every member of your aquatic staff for their commitment to professional excellence and desire to make a difference for those who frequent your facilities. And it's signed sincerely, yours, Jeff Ellis and Associates. And it's a, this is not the official, but it's a copy. Marsha actually has the award. Marsha? Yeah. Here's the official copy. And I, and I want to make it known that this 30% is worldwide, not just in the United States, but worldwide. And here is the presentation. The silver certificate is there for 2017. Wow. You can see we've consistently since 2011. Like Good work. Thank Absolutely. You. Yes, has to thank do you that. very much. Thank you. <laughs> Marsha's a big reason for this, and I'd like to thank her for being so involved to make sure that this is always of the highest quality. Well, I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm so afraid somebody's going to drown on my watch. That's why I'm <laughs> about getting everybody trained. All right. <laughs> well, we don't want that either. Okay. So. Thank you. Good job, Morgan. Thank job. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next announcement, Missouri Department of Natural Resources. We are, uh, it says, Dear Mayor Kerber, staff, <coughs> staff from the Department of Natural Resources conducted an inspection on September 14, 2017 of the City of Herman Public Water System located at 1902 Jefferson Street, Herman, Missouri 65041 and in Gasconade County. The entity operates under the authority of Herman and Mo 6010360. Compliance with Missouri Safe Drinking Water Act was evaluated. The entity was found to be in compliance based upon the observations made at the time of the evaluation. The enclosed report describes the findings and may provide important recommendations to ensure continued compliance. Your cooperation in implementing those recommendations will be appreciated. And without reading the other six or eight pages, I'm just gonna say job well done. And, and uh, do you get this, Trish, or Mark, or what put away? Yeah. I can buy it. Sorry, it's okay. It's okay. They didn't say in there somewhere it was so good we should start bottling it and selling it. No, I thought we'd let an alderman so <laughs> good one. Okay, um, just a couple of other items. Uh, we had another great Oktoberfest weekend, or the Saturday, until the rain started. It was tremendous. I, uh, tra I drove around on uh, Saturday afternoon and we literally couldn't find a place to park. I drove up and down 1st Street, all the way from Washington, as far as we could go, 2nd Street, 3rd Street, 4th Street, 5th Street, up and down Schiller, Market Street, uh, Gutenberg, and even as far out as Washington, and the park was full. Places where people were parking there. The two wineries that are inside the city were jammed up. Every parking space was was taken up and they were parking as far out as Herman Farms on every place we could find. 
So that's a lot of people, and we are very fortunate to have that kind of recommendation, rec recognition of people in our area that would come uh, for this and enjoy themselves. We had, to my knowledge, no real issues, and uh, I just think it's fantastic. So my hat's off to everybody there, and uh, we hope for a final uh, tremendous weekend coming up. We had, last week, we had uh, 19 German visitors from our sister city of Bad Orls, Germany. They were celebrating the 30th anniversary of our exchange of students and city officials and others. Uh, it was, they were here for four days. It was a great time. I got to interact with them on a couple of occasions. Very fine people. They had a blast. They got to see the city. They got, we put them on, had a good continental breakfast out here. Thanks to Trish and Carol and the other staff. It was great. Uh, so, uh, Tina Gels donated 20 small pewter medallions of the Palmer Gen uh, Gen uh, House. And uh, they actually visited that later in the day. They were very appreciative and they wanted me to thank her. So, Tina, if you're watching, thank you. And if not, I'll be sending a letter to say that. So thank you. Uh, our street department has just completed along with West Paving. Uh, paving on east, the hill on east 12th Street, West 9th, and parts of West 9th and West 8th Street. Uh, it looks tremendous. If you get a chance, if you're driving by, take a look at it. It's fantastic. And uh, we're, we're getting as much done as fast as we can. But we, how do you say it, Dave? We're on the pay-as-you-go plan. So while we'd like to do it all at one time, and after watching these guys, I think they could do it all in a week, but we just couldn't pay for it. So we're doing what we can. Sales tax receipts are up the first three months of this fiscal year versus last year, 6.6%. And a lot of that, I think, has to do with the fact we have 40 some odd new businesses. Most of them are retail, and most of them generate sales tax. So that's, uh, that's quite, a, quite an achievement, so that's very good. We had a fiber optic orientation meeting on the 18th. We had representatives there that were our, our uh, uh, folks that we looked to for advice, both in build out and in operations. And uh, we had some very uh, uh, well, uh, we had well placed uh, uh, visitors that we thought were, were very important people. Herman Area District Hospital was represented, the Scenic Regional Library, the R1 School District, our Electric Utility, Stonehill Winery, and I may have missed somebody, all the aldermen were in attendance, and, uh, and some other city personnel came as well. Uh, I think Eli and Mark were there. So but we had a good discussion. It's not the end of it. We're going to have more. So that's, that's, that was a good thing. Uh, a couple of important dates. November 8th is a job fair. Check with the uh, Advertiser Courier's website. They have information about it. And November 4th is a citywide trash pickup day. So please, if you have anything, don't let that opportunity pass you by. Uh, so please uh, take care of that and help make our city better. And that's what I have, Mark. Yeah, just a couple things. Um, all of you, Fairbur and Chuck Hartbauer, Adrian Sigrist, and myself attended a certified local government workshop in Rolla last Thursday. And it was informative as always and uh, dealt with being able to strategize and be effective in developing community support for worthwhile city and civic projects. It was a good workshop. You know, the mayor mentioned the streets that were paved. They do look great. Thank the street crews and Todd. And everybody associated with that project. Park, uh, the area around the new basketball court has been landscaped and looks really nice, but I thank Ben and his crew for that. And bids for the community center, the, uh, the walls are crumbling over there, the floor is moving, so we received some bids, and I'm in the process of reviewing them right now. That's it. Okay, thanks, Mark. Uh, the floor, I noticed the floor is moving. Yeah, I think. I thought it was just me. No. 
Okay. Uh, the Utility Advisory Board has made its recommendation that we consider raising meter fees. And I, I asked them to come and give us a little background information on their decision, and they've sent our one and only Brian Shirley, who's on that, uh, that committee, to, get, to tell us about that. So, Brian? Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, members of the um, Utility Advisory Board couldn't make it tonight, so they asked me to present. And basically, um, what we're wanting to do is increase the gas uh, meter fee uh, to have a have kind of a long-term plan to help offset our um, our overhead costs, you know, which is what a meter fee or service charge is supposed to do. It's supposed to pay for the bringing the service to the building or to that to the house. And uh, we as we've gone back as far as forty some years, and we don't think we've ever increased the gas meter fee. It's always been three dollars and fifty cents, as far as we can tell. Um, so the proposal um, that we would recommend from the Utility Advisory Board is to increase at $5 now to take it to $8.50. Um, that would add an additional um, six, uh, around $60,000 a year, maybe a little less, um, to, um, to our bottom line um, in the department in, in the fiscal year 16 and 17, we had a um, oh, I guess you call it a loss of 21652 I mean, we started with positive cash flow. It's just the 12 months fiscal year the operating in between that 12 months. We lost money. Um, and so um, this is going to have a long-term plan of, of increasing. The next, the next step beyond the $5 <coughs> would be to increase it and I have an automatic increase of one dollar every fiscal year for ten years. Um, that would take us up to eighteen fifty, which is more of an industry standard today. So ten years from now, we would be closer to the industry standard um, today. Right now. Of right now. And so, um, just to give you an example, um, the Cleveland gas in St. Louis, their charge is twenty three dollars and forty four cents. True natural gas out of um, Atlanta is twenty-five dollars, and um, in Virginia, in Charlottesville, Virginia, their gas meter fee is thirty dollars. So there's um, a lot, a lot higher meter fees out there, um, and the industry average is more like eighteen, um, and we're at three fifty, um, and we need to do this to be, you know, to be responsible in the future for our system help cover um, our increased fixed costs which which is now coming out of the rate and you know the rate and our surplus that we have had over the years um, so we need to to increase this just to kind of keep up and so that we don't have to come back for a big rate increase later on um, <clears throat> but um, and so also we don't have to dig into our reserves. Like this year we had to dig in 21000 into our reserves to pay for our operating expenses. So we need to um, do this to be responsible, we feel, as a utility board. Um, and it's not a huge increase, you know, all at once. It's a steady, gradual increase <coughs> planned out for 10 years. One uh, thing we would like to put in there in the ordinance for the the one-year automatic increase is that the Board of Aldermen could um, vote to override that increase and not have the increase uh, within 30 days of each fiscal year. So that's one of the, if, if we feel like, for example, let's say, you know, we have in our formula, in our, in our, our gas rate formula, a 5% additional, um, I don't know if you want to call it profit, but it's on top of what our all of our all-in costs are supposed to be. We're supposed to be getting an additional 5% on the rate. Well, if we have a $3 rate, that 5% isn't that much. If we have a $12 rate, which we have had in the past, that 5% brings in a lot more. So if, we have, if, if the price of gas goes up, we don't want to add another dollar to the people's fee. There will at least be an option there 
to just say we don't want to do it this year and then next year it would automatically kick in again unless you vote to not increase it. But that would be one scenario where we thought, well, maybe the board wouldn't want to have that automatic increase go in. So that increase would be voted on each year? Well, it would go, it would be automatic unless the board votes not to do it. That's what the proposal was. This is a proposal from the Utility Advisory Board. And it would sunset after 10 years. It's going to have to be brought to, <coughs> to this Board of Aldermen and discussed before anything can happen. This is just, I just wanted us to get their thoughts now. How will this affect the industrial rates? It's, it's, just, it's just an extra, an additional $5. So they'll go with the same amount as the rates now? We have about twelve, a thousand and two, or something like that. A little over a thousand customers. Meters uh, in Herman, and uh, uh, we really don't want to get into our reserves any more than we have. We want to stop that. So we're very close to break even. This might be all we need. We might not need another dollar next year, and so on and so forth. So we're, uh, it's easier just to say no. So we're just that's why they said this. But anyway, this is not a decision for us tonight. It's just a report. Um, so thank you for the report, and we'll <coughs> discuss this. We'll put it on the agenda uh, for next time, and we will be able to discuss it at length. Any information like you have there, we should put in the back. It's probably all for them to see, and uh, they can come up with questions and. Uh, and we'll discuss it. And we could conceive, we conceivably could not do anything, but I mean, that's up to you. Okay, uh, we have next, uh, and I normally would leave this today, but I'm going to do this. We have ordinance uh, bill number 2017-37, which is a lockbox uh, ordinance. And I would like to remove this from the agenda on a permanent basis until we have time to research more and come up with a another ordinance or this one again or something. But we have more information. Bruce and I and uh, and Kevin uh, Speckhouse have discussed this. I'm going to put the information together as we get it. We don't. We won't have it. We might not have it for the next meeting. All of it. But I'll put it in package so you can. You can see what it is, we'll talk about it, and then see where it goes. Could come back the same way, don't know. But I, what I'm going to do is ask for a motion here, and to remove it, we're going to have to have no motion. Okay, so that will take it off, and, uh, and then we can always bring it back when we're ready. So I'm going to ask if we have a motion on bill number 2017-37. Do I hear a motion? So move. Yeah. Okay. But now that we have a motion. Oh, I'm sorry. I was, I was do you want to rescind your motion? Would you like yeah. to rescind your motion? Right, I'd like to rescind my motion. Yes. Okay. So we have there being no motion, uh, this uh, ordinance 2017-37 uh, uh, is 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 gone and removed. Let's move on, Dave. Yeah. All right. Uh, the next is bill number 2017-42 on for second reading. It would be an ordinance adopting and enacting a new chapter 215 offenses of the Code of Ordinances of the City of Herman, County of Gasconade, State of Missouri, and providing for the repeal of existing Code Chapter 215 and providing when this ordinance shall become effective. This is second reading? Correct. Okay, we have a motion now for this one. Make a motion to approve second reading. Second. Motion is made and seconded. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion is carried. And next on for first reading is bill number 2017-43, which would be an ordinance to incorporate a memorandum of understanding and flagpole agreement into the Market Street Parkway agreement between John T. Baumstark Sr. and the City of Herman, Missouri. Okay, um, do
Do we have a motion? I move to approve. This establishes a place to have a 30 foot, up to a 30 foot platform. We have a motion made to approve. Do we have a second? Second. Motion is made and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is carried. We, we will have uh, uh, Jack talk on her citizen comments about further proposals on, on the parkway, but not the flight. All right. I'm sorry, did you want to leave tonight? Oh, yes, yes. Let's do that. All right. But we have a time constraint. We have to get this done. <clears throat> so could you read that again? All right. Bill number 2017-43 for second reading, an ordinance to incorporate a memorandum of understanding and flagpole agreement into the Market Street Parkway Agreement between John T. Bob Stark Sr. and the City of Herman, Missouri. We have a motion. I make a motion for second read. Second. A motion made and seconded. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion is carried. And then resolutions. We have one. It would be a resolution authorizing the issuance of the festival space permits for October. <laughs> Make a motion to approve. Second. Motion is made and seconded. And all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion's carried. Do we have any unfinished business? Yes. Okay. Okay, this has come up before, so I guess you can call it unfinished business, but uh, I was gone Friday and most of Saturday, but I still while I was gone, received several complaints by phone. Chief, this one's kind of in your territory about the congestion of traffic at first and Woodward. Uh, can we not get a dedicated person down there to direct traffic at times like that? If I have to have somebody there at first and Gutenberg, then I have to have somebody at first and Schiller, first in the market for several hours a day directing traffic. That's a lot of manpower and time to have guys standing there directing traffic all day. I mean, that's just, this is what we do in October. I mean, it, it, can, it gets built up there and we get through there. I mean, there's, we have to have guys in three intersections all day doing traffic. I understand that, and I realize there's a lot of people in town and everything, but the complaints I got specifically was they were sitting there watching the congestion and not doing anything about it. Like I said, I was not there. This is secondhand information I got, but I got it from three different sources. So, you know, the best you can do is the best you can do, but. Please ask your guys to keep an eye on that. Another item, just since we're just on the subject, uh, I got behind one of your golf carts when I got into town Saturday evening, just as it you know really starting to get dark. There's no reflective tape or any lights of any kind on the back of this golf cart. The company, when they sent them, they did not send all of them with the rear tail lights for some reason. Um, some of them have tail lights, and the other ones, I guess they didn't pay attention when they dropped them off. They didn't have the tail lights on them, so. But just a strip of reflective tape, you know, you would at least be able to see, but I mean, I didn't, I realized I was behind the golf cart, but well, I can't see that thing, and I realized there was just nothing to even tell you you were behind it. Well, can we get something from the uh, Napa store or whatever, downtown, and put it on there? Yes. Or the farm equipment, you know, sign? Sure. Triangle? We don't have any Oh, we can get some, yeah. I don't want anybody. I just don't want, we don't need yeah. a golf cart with police officers and getting rear ended. You no. know, just, uh, and that was just at that certain time of the night where nothing shows up. So, And one other item on unfinished business the fiber optic meeting we had the other night. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't, I mean, we had a lot of good people and everything, but I have gotten repeated requests from people since that meeting. So please, please, please do your best to get this done. I mean, it's very, there's people that want it badly. So. I've had that as well, so we're pedaling as fast as we can. Okay, is that it? Anybody else? Metaphoric. Uh, new business. Uh, I, let me start with this one. And uh, you know, for several months now, we've talked about putting these meetings on YouTube. And Eli has done it successfully and believes this can be done. Uh, without a problem, we're basically ready to do it. We will need a, your approval and a piece of equipment that costs about $150 that will take 
the videos we have and compress them to some YouTube readable thing and we'll put them all by date if that's what y'all want uh, on our website and people can watch us, you know, at, at their leisure. Is that going to replace what we have now? Yeah. We'll still no. have the TV. We still, still have the TV. TV. Okay, so yeah. not everybody's on the computer. Yeah. No. Okay. But I think what it will replace is some, what I meant was somebody that sends $5 into the CD. <clears throat> I mean, they'll just be able to watch it if they have a computer. And they can, those all be stored so they can go back to several right. months. And if they see a good spot, they can back it up and watch it over again. Well, it, it'll help get away from this. Well, what I heard was, look it up. <coughs> You'll be able to see everything that actually happens in here as it actually happened. So you know, watch out. Okay, is that something that uh, we should give Eli the go ahead on? Absolutely. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Anybody else want to talk about it, or can we move on to other new business? The uh, I've never watched. <laughs> On TV, one of the, for some reason. But you're here. Ah. <laughs> How's the quality? I mean, when you're, is it worthy? Of? Well, I've actually got a CD or two of our meetings, and it's but it's okay. Great. You have to get the people that speak to come up here, or you can't hear what they're right. saying. Okay. But that's why a lot of times we've asked them to come up here. But as far as everything we're saying, it's very clear. Yeah. Yeah. So again, watch out. Uh, that's a joke. Okay. Uh, any other new business? Yes. Uh, one, we've got several fire hydrants around town that have black trash bags. The purpose of that? They're on. Out of out. They're out. They're out. Or they work. Yes. Uh, are they going to be removed? Or are they going to be repaired? They'll be repaired. We went through this a couple of years ago and spent quite a bit of money on um, probably a dozen of them getting fixed, and every once in a while, you know, it pops up. So they'll be they'll be fixed. Okay, are, just, some, are some of these disconnected? They're just there's one that's disconnected at Fourth uh, and Gutenberg. When that water main gets extended all the way to the end of the street, that one will be connected. So it's a good hydrant. It's just a good Okay, well, I mean, if, if they're not usable, get them out. But as a friend of mine who uh, didn't get real upset at times told me one time, those things are not yellow arms. Right. If they're in there, they're supposed to sure. be in our, or if, if the guys in the fire truck get there. And that's how that came about. They got a hold of one that didn't work. So. Yeah. So. Okay. And the other thing is, I was uh, contacted by Mrs. Bruni, the principal for. Uh, the elementary school and they were having a real problem with congestion again when kids are getting off of school and she said is there any way we can make that street a one-way street well it is a one-way street from 7 a.m. to 3 30 in the evening on school days 7th street from Gellert isn't that Gellert Gate from Gaithy to Washington is a one-way street do we have a do not enter sign they can use to set yeah, up on that street yeah. could we please get them yeah. Who does he need to dump? Oh, Mrs. Bernie, they're at the elementary yeah. school. There's something they can set down there at the end of the street that people know they're not supposed to come in that way. There was a sign there at one time. Yeah, I remember not too many years ago it was on a oh, tire, tire rim, rim base rim. with a pole, yeah. but it has apparently disappeared. So I asked Larry Jack when it was Larry, don't know where it's at. It just doesn't that, exist. Are we talking 7th or 8th? 7th right? Street. Okay, not where the bus is. No, no, this is on 7th Street okay. by city ordinance. It right. is a one way street from 7 a.m. to 3 30 a.m. on school days. Okay, okay uh, other new business. I know that I noticed that the uh, electric department was working on uh, pulling cable on. Uh, Schiller and is intending to go down 4th Street, so I had, there was a little uh, flurry of activity on Facebook about li lights not working, some of them of you, and that's being addressed, and instead of patching it, they're going to pull new cable, and uh, that should make us uh, good for years to come, so should take care of all of that, and I just wanted to mention that, that they were hard at work on that. 
So thank you, thank you, Paul. I will do that. Okay, is there any other new business? No? Okay, then let's get the motions. We're getting to you, Joe. Now, motions, what about the minutes? What are we going to do with those? <laughs> Make a motion here. A motion to approve. Second. A motion made and seconded. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed. <coughs> Invoices for payment. Uh, I do have two questions. Okay. So, who is Katrina Horn and why did she $20 restitution? I can go the court system. Okay. Uh, a 32 gallon all steel receptacle, $1,853. That is a trash can. $1,800? trash cans? Well, I'm, I don't know what it is actually. I thought it was, but not $1,800. What department is under? Is it under well, the very bottom, the very bottom one. Recycling. Oh, it is. It is. Yeah, they bought yeah. new bins. New bins. Yeah. Okay. For recycling. There's, there's oh, 30. It's 32 of them. Yeah, there's, there you go. Okay, that makes a little more. The way it was written, it's like 32 gallons. Okay. You have to say, uh, on the truck, this isn't the budget, right? This is the budget. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm good. Motion to pay the bill. Second. Motion is made and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is carried. Appoint Malda Schneider. To the landlord's commission. This is an appointment to the commission itself, uh, not the advisory capacity. And that uh, has come from the commission. He seems to be fine and, and has background, so I recommend him to the board. Mr. Mayor, uh, we will need to have a resume made for Mr. Schneider as a part of the CLG requirement. So I'm sorry if you didn't get one. I they do have a copy in their binders. I'll get you one. Okay, thank you. Okay. If any of you guys don't know Malden, I would find it hard to believe you don't, but he's a lifelong resident of Herman. He's worked in construction, I guess, all his life. He worked on historic houses in this town when they were just old houses. I mean he's he's worked with the Deerberg Foundation. He is very qualified for this position. Any further discussion? I move to approve. Mm -hmm. Second. Uh, motion is made and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Approved. Congratulations to Mr. Schneider. Approved bucket truck bid. Does this need any explanation? Yeah, Jesse has a little uh, explanation in the letter here in your board packet. That's on the state biz when he was trying to get mm -hmm. in, right? Right. It's 13,000 under budget. Yep, yeah, 13 under budget. But the only ones that bid on that are. It's on a state bid, so the, it's a statewide. Okay. If it's available to anybody statewide. And so they would. It's already been bid at the state level, so we right. could jump in on it. I would make a motion to approve the, the bid. Second. We have a motion made and a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Festival event application, Herman High School, Decca Club, Food Stand, 136 East 1st Street, Riverbank Apparel Parking Lot, October 28, 2017. Motion approved. Second. We have a motion made and seconded. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion is carried. Special event application, Herman Area District Hospital, 5K Turkey Trial. Various city streets and sidewalks on the west side of town, November 23rd, 2017. We'll do approved. Second. Motion is made and seconded. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. 
a special event application, Herman Arts Council and Chamber of Commerce, lantern parade and tree lighting, Gerald Engelman Memorial parking lot, and use of streets on parade route, November 24th, 2017. You can read that. <laughs> This is the most horrible application I have ever seen since I've been an old one. I could read this. Well, she volunteered to retype it, it ran out of time, so I said I'll submit it as is. You've got the cliff notes here in typed. <laughs> I mean, if you were confident of what that actually says, I would make the motion to approve, but I would really like to be able to read it if we're going to approve one. And they have the, um, the route. Oh, wow. Um, I was not able to find anything that looked like a route. They did submit a parade um, application form. Um, it's going to start down by Gutenberg and First. Um, and Marlin, give a copy to the police department for their information because they have to approve those. Is it at First and Market? That's it it uh, is first, first to Schiller, Schiller to Fourth. Now this looks just like that, so help, bear with me. For, for to market until reaching Gerald Ingeman Memorial Park. Gutenberg first, where it starts. First to, first to Schiller is what it says. Well, it's going to come down first. No, I think they're starting at first and Schiller. They'll probably go last. First and Schiller. The well, way I understood it in the meeting, it was they're going to start at the Hoff Garden or there about. Mm -hmm. And come up first street. And then come up first street. Schiller Street. Go to Schiller. Down fourth. And then up market to uh, the Income Park. Yeah. Okay. So, and then after that we'll have a performance, or about performance, but uh, I guess. Tree lighting. Tree lighting, that's it. Trish, would you ask, uh, I guess it's Mary? Sherry. Sherry? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Actually, the only thing they're asking for is the General Ingman Memorial, and then they've turned in their parade um, route to the police department. Yeah, they do this every year. Yeah. Yeah, their route's just the like same route, as, and they're well, not using the saying. amphitheater. It was a little yeah. confusing last year. Yeah. They had Santa down at the amphitheater. Did they leave him? Well, <laughs> nobody knew what was going on. <clears throat> I think it might be a good idea to make sure we have everything readable. We can approve this as long as what comes in is not substantially different. Basically, it's the same thing except in reverse. Okay. They're going to end up at the memorial and have it all instead of the amphitheater. But it sounds to me like that with the Arts Council and I think um, Mary... Uh, Mary uh, Burnell and Sherry. Yeah, that they it's seem to be mm -hmm. doing a pretty good job organizing this, and Sherry it's going to be, I think, a lot better awesome. than years past. Mary Burnell, I know where it is, I can read it. And they're going to actually have lanterns. <laughs> right, and they're Which, busy working on them. Yeah. So. I mean, they're enthusiastic. I don't want to uh, to discourage them at all. Right, right. I think they're going to have uh, maybe choir. Somebody People singing along the way. They may have printed Christmas songs. The, um, there's going to be people in costumes. So I think if it all comes off, it will be a pretty nice. Yeah, idea. they found a, a watercolor from many years ago. At the, within a, 10 or 20 years of the first one of these they had. And it depicts what they used to be like. And they're trying to, to make it like it used to be. Um, before I guess we got kind of commercialized for a while, and uh, so I think their heart's in the right place, and, and this is kind of it's going to be a nice thing. You, you're going to have to block off state highways for this, aren't you? Mm -hmm. We'll have someone in front leading and an officer in back, and I mean we'll make sure that they're directed or we get them there safely. Okay. So. I will move to approve. <laughs> Second. Motion's made and seconded. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion's carried. We have uh, citizens' comments from uh, from Jack Hartfire regarding the Veterans Parkway. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Mr. Hartfire. 
from forward. Tell us what are new, wonderful things that you're going to uh, have. It's always a pleasure to stand up here in front of a group of people who understand what we're trying to do for the city of Herman. And uh, as promised, uh, I just wanted to give you an update on, on progress on the, on the Memorial Parkway. And, and thanks to everybody here and Mr. Bombstark for uh, allowing us to put a flag um, down to bottom. <clears throat> but the reason I'm here is that we are now ready to start what we call phase two of our Parkway Memorial Project. Uh, the sod has all been down, it's growing. Uh, we just have electric electricity ran to the uh, uh, memorial, uh, World War II memorial, and, and what we have to do now is hook up our lights and, and that will be lit uh, so people can see it at night. But the project down at the bottom of the hill, uh, I have the blueprints and a rough drawing from the architect. We, as a committee, have to tweak that and uh, get it back to him. There are some changes that uh, we will be making down there, but we are ready to start on phase two of our project. Uh, the group has been working real hard and diligently to get this thing done as fast as possible. Uh, we are still seeking donations to further this project along, but uh, I just wanted to step before you and, and advise you that uh, we are now ready to start phase two. Uh, more information will be coming out. One of my committee members is in charge of putting uh, notifications in paper uh, to let them know where we're at and, and, and things like that. We have had a lot of requests uh, for uh, paver, paver bricks, if you will, uh, that will be down at the bottom part of that memorial. I do have uh, some rough drawings. I would just like, I only have one right now, just to give uh, the members uh, of the Board of Auburn and the Mayor uh, an idea of what it's going to look like. And uh, uh, if you can just sort of uh, pass it on, I'll pick it up from all the Maduro. But in the center there will be a flagpole, and that's looking from the bottom of the hill forward. So, to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. It will match, it'll be simple, it'll be clean, and it'll be uh, a nice tribute to uh, all branches of service um, who have served our country and now before and after. So uh, we're pretty excited. It's, it's pretty nice. Again, it has some tweaking to do, but that will come along. And uh, as I said, it gives you an idea of what it's going to look like. So. Uh, again, thanks to Mr. Bombstark and the mayor who has worked on this project with the flagpole, with myself. <coughs> um, we appreciate it. And uh, it'll be somewhere between 25 and 30 feet tall. So uh, I think we're, Bruce, correct me if I'm wrong, we're looking at 25 feet. So again, thank you, folks. And there's the update. Thank Any you. questions? Doing a great right. job, Charles. Thank you. Yeah. Right, so I had a question that flagpole being lit 24. Yes, yeah. 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 Right. I, I'd like to say that uh, they've done an outstanding job. There's a pretty large committee of volunteers that have put a lot of work. I mean, uh, shovels and rakes were going, and, and uh, when it was hot, and Chuck was out there with a hose and lawnmower and, and weed whacker and working on this thing, they were raking rocks. Uh, kind of like the sun, busting rocks in the hot sun. They were out there with that in the hot sun. And they put a ton of work in there, their own money really, except what they raised. And it's just a fantastic community effort. So I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, sir. Okay, do we have, there's no other citizen comments. We have no other cards. Uh, so we are going to uh, I'll entertain a motion to go in our closed session. I move we go in the closed session for the purpose of dealing with matters relating to legal action, cause of action litigation, or privileged communication between the city's representative and its attorneys, hiring and firing, discipline, disciplining or promoting employees pursuant to section 610.021, subsection 3, revised statutes in the state of Missouri. Thank you. 
We have a motion made and seconded. I need a voice vote. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay, four eyes. We are now in closed session. Uh, Marlon, can you stay for just a few minutes? Yes. Thanks, everyone. We appreciate you coming. Oh, the